Whenever I take people in the nature, in the mountain, for them to connect with their own self, to connect with the other beings, so that's really a passion in my life. And that's what I call free education. So there will be no one definition, no pin down fixed uh, point. It is an exploration for all of us. We had people that were really relaxed here with the sounds, with the insects, and we learned to love nature. Building with natural materials is what we are doing for thousands of years. It changed recently with catastrophic results. Bringing old methods back, but also evolving them, let's say, with new insights and new techniques is something very important. This is a pop-up school where people come together to live and learn, to explore questions of what does it take to live in community. How do we create our own food? How do we create our own shelter? How do we balance individual and collective needs? How do we take decisions? How do we resolve conflicts? How do we express ourselves? How do we figure out how to learn together in non-institutionalized ways? And how do we go back to the roots of the roots of ourselves, just as inspired by the Rumi poem? I really believe that people uh, through play is the only possible way to learn, actually. So that's why I came here. I found it very interesting that it's a school that is going from place to place. It's a pop-up school. This event is for children, youth and families, particularly people who are looking to re-envision how their lives look like, people who feel stuck in a global system that they don't want to be a part of anymore, and to find a community of like-minded people. This kind of community making is a very basic tool to have in our families in our communities, in our schools. I think, I think everything is connected. Yeah, we really need to act on the environmental issues. You know, pollution, global warming, clean food, clean air, clean water issues. Those are very pressing. However, my experience has been that without solid community work, things tend to fall apart. Some of the people that attended had nothing to do with all this culture and felt in the beginning kind of what is all that hippie stuff going on? But by the end of these 10 days, they were quite transformed, seeing the practicality of the tools mm. and the importance of co-creating this space where everybody feels safe. Tools like uh, Agile, decision-making tools, conflict resolution tools are very important to integrate into communities who have a purpose of environmentalism or activism. But we established a temporary community, collectively defining its culture and seeing what works, what doesn't work. This event facilitated providing the space for people to decide what they want to do and how they want to do it and give them the opportunity to understand that it's okay if you don't succeed in the first time. We were perfect in our imperfections and I think that this is also very important in a community when we don't have to be perfect all the time. It's amazing how the synergy effect really heals us and really helps us achieve more and helps us gain scope and focus. Whatever you do together with others is multiplied so much so you can work on yourself and it's an essential part of the game. But when you come together and you feel the energy and you feel that everybody is taking care of each other, this shifts the whole process to a complete new dimension. Most of the people who come to these events, they are on some sort of quest. They're really seeking for something. So they are, they are learners, they are seekers, they are researchers. They are so amazingly beautiful. I always am I'm, I'm in awe, discovering how beautiful human beings can be. All people actually want the same thing, to be happy, to find people that can listen to them, that can talk to them, that can live with them. Children were so happy. I strongly feel that this is the way we shall walk. A lot of the things we have collectively created as a society don't really support us 
more possibly the opposite. So find the courage to drop them and make space for new things to emerge. So the team comes from different organizations. School Up Frontiers is the name of uh, this blooming and emerging uh, organization that has its pillars on traveling, uh, democratic education and agile learning. The Haragoe project, it frames a concept and also an experiment where human relations are the focus. It is a cultural, educational and artistic hub. And Mesahit Free Learning Spaces is concerned with creating self-organized learning communities so that people can reclaim their ideas and their essence of education. The basic team was uh, five people. Sabine is a student in uh, educational sciences, it's also a very big heart and tenderness and love. Andreas is the builder of this place and he's an extraordinary, some kind of a stage or a shaman. Neri is a former scientist who found her own path in free education community building. Stella is her name, incarnated, so she is a bright star. She's a herbal remedies uh, maker. My name is Luna Is. I'm officially a nature guide, a mountain leader. I'm also very focused on education, especially free education. It was a great time for everybody, so I think they might come back. <laughs>